Well, YouTube, I just got back from Home Depot and I came home with this. This is a Ryobi cordless drill set. Um, it came with a drill, um, a duffel bag, two rechargeable batteries, and a one hour charger for $69.99. Um, they had another kit there that included the circular saw, which was like $89, but I never used the circular saw that came with my Craftsman kit. And um, the only thing I really used other than, other than the drill with my Craftsman set was the fluorescent light. And I'm still going to fix the Craftsman batteries. Um, I just got this drill because I needed one. Because I got home improvement projects right now that I'm doing. And I hate borrowing other people's power tools, so I just bought my own. And this is the best value I found on the internet. I went to Harbor Freight Tools. I went to Menard's site. Um... I didn't check out Lowe's, but this is the best I could find for the money. Usually most other cordless drills, they were either too cheap, had a longer battery charging time, or they were too expensive, but um, I, read the, I read the reviews on this one and uh, they're pretty good. Um, they sell the flashlight separately at Home Depot, so just in case I want to buy it, I'll go out and buy it. Um, it's just a regular incandescent um, uh, flashlight so yes and I'm gonna take it out of the box right now well YouTube it's out of the package here is the duffel bag for it here's the drill and here's the two batteries along with the charger that's sitting right there I just plugged the charger in I didn't I did not put the batteries in it yet the great thing about these batteries is you could buy them right at Home Depot they cost $59.99 for two which is great um, compared to the Craftsman batteries, which cost a fortune. I was on Craftsman's website, or Sears website, and um, I was reading some of the reviews on the new 19.2 uh, uh, cordless drill, 19.2 volt, and I guess the batteries have a high failure rate, so yes, time for another brand. And this is just a trial. Um, I'm just going to try it out. If I like it, maybe I'll add to the kit. If I don't, well, I'll just... Uh, you keep on using the Craftsman once I fix the battery. And I'll put the battery on the charger here. Yep, she's flashing. Okay, let's let her charge. Just a quick update here. I checked the owner's manual and I found out that that flashing green light means the battery is charging. Once the battery is fully charged, the light will stop flashing. So yes, flashing light means the battery is charging. Non-flashing light means the battery is fully charged. Anyways, while that was charging, I took the other battery and installed it on the drill to see how much torque the drill had. And surprisingly, this drill has just as much torque as the old 19.2 Craftsman. When I pull the trigger, I could hear um, a nice ratcheting effect. You hear that? Boy, this thing has a lot of torque, I could tell. And we got to wait for that battery to charge, which is going to be quite a while. Then we could drive in some screws and some 2x4s to see how much torque this thing really has. Stay tuned. Bye. Well, the drill battery is all charged. I got my wood ready, and I got a two and a half inch deck screw. And I'll give you a demonstration, and I'll set the camera down so you can see me. Got my screw, my drill. Not bad. Try another one. Two and a half inch deck screw. Nice, I like it. Just as much torque as the old Craftsman. Ryobi 18 volt uh, cordless drill kit. $69.99 at Home Depot, one hour charger, um, and two and two batteries. And plus you can get the batteries at Home Depot and they don't cost an arm and a leg like the Craftsman batteries do. 
And I think the Craftsman ones, I was looking at them online, they look kind of chintzy looking compared to the original 19.2 ones. But yes, I figured I'd give this one a chance. Uh, one thing I did not, one thing I did not like about it was the was the flashlight. The portable flashlight was incandescent. Uh, the one with the Craftsman set was uh, fluorescent. And that concludes this video. Bye.